Good morning, Sean. VA whistleblowers said they were thanked when they returned to work yesterday. Take a listen to this video from WMUR News 9, Amy Cavino. Then I went into the cafeteria and the vet thanked me, and the vets have thanked me. Um, I don't think the administration is going to talk to me, but I don't really care. Dr. Coys wasn't sure what to expect when he arrived at work Monday morning. He led the whistleblower effort that landed on the front page of the Boston Globe Sunday. I didn't know how I would be received, and I have problems walking, and they, they have a van pick me up, and the guy who drives the van stuck his hand out and shook it, and he thanked me. Dr. Stuart Levinson turned whistleblower after 18 years at the VA and says something similar happened to him today as well. People were grateful. Uh, many of them were relieved that these problems came to light. Uh, I shook a bunch of hands this morning, uh, which I wasn't expecting. Dr. Levinson says for years he tried to raise concerns to upper management and had reservations about exposing the allegations. It was not something I did lightly. It was something I was very concerned about. I didn't want uh, uh, issues getting confused where the veterans would lose confidence in the care they were getting. Eleven medical providers filed for whistleblower protection last August and have been working quietly with the Boston Globe Spotlight team to expose what these doctors say are systematic problems, including antiquated equipment. Expensive equipment that was ordered but is unable to be used because a room is too small to fit the machine or flies in the operating room. Okay. Dr. Chavarro says the issue with the flies might sound significant, but isn't. Here's why. I wish I could tell you that it was a bigger story than it is, but frankly it's not because we don't do anything. There's no reason to even use that operating room because we don't do anything. Dr. Chavarro alleges upper management would rather send surgical procedures out to other hospitals under a program called Veterans Choice. They want a cost shift. At least one Manchester VA patient is preparing to sue for malpractice. Attorneys are bracing for more. Live in the studio, Amy Cavino, WMUR News 9. And the state's congressional delegation is voicing its... Okay, and there you go on that video from Amy Cavino. Reporting live here outside the VA hospital in Manchester, New Hampshire, I'm Riley King for WMUR News 9. Sean, back over to you.